What's up, divas? And what's up, divos? So, you guys know it's your girl April, and it is another cheapskate haul video. So, first of all, I want to thank you guys for leaving so many comments as well as requesting more Dollar Tree video review hauls. So, this one is not the Dollar Tree, but this is the 99 cents only store. So, first of all, we're about to get lit, or whatever you young folks want to call it today, because I got myself a screwdriver and I also am so happy and excited because I made out like a bandit okay um I'm saying like y'all know I'm cheap I have my little cheap skate haul videos and um yes if I saw if I find some stuff that's really good whew, I be racking up like seriously I take it to a whole different level so okay. so yes now we have quite a few of these in Arizona. I never came across one in New York. And if there was one in New York, there was probably nothing left up in there, for real. Because New Yorkers, we will take the whole 99 cent store to the extreme. Even like the Dollar Trees. When Dollar Trees first started coming out, because they didn't have those when I was a kid, there was barely anything. It was like an overwhelming. Like, my mother was so excited about a store that sold dollar stuff. Like, you just cannot imagine. What? I love a good, cheap store. So, the 99 cents only stores. First of all, this is their slogan. That's a lie. That's a goddamn lie. Because there are things in there that range from $1.99, $2.99, $3.99. And the most I have ever seen anything is $4.99. But these items are like really big items. Like, they'll be probably something like really good book bags that should be like 20 bucks. So, you know, those items are like the more pricier items. But majority of the items at the 99 cents only stores are 99 cents. Now, let me tell you, I barely really go because the one that I went to on Saturday, um, which is a little bit further up from me, this was the first time I ever went to this particular one. And it was like a lot of a lot of weirdos up there, like seriously, a lot of weirdos. And I don't do too well with the weirdos. But I did, I got like lucky, oh my god, I, I racked up on some really great cosmetics at the both of them. But the one by me, it was more organized, there's less weirdos, so you can do a little bit more shopping. And I found some really great stuff, okay? I did buy a couple things um, that were $1.99, only a few for things, okay. I know you guys want to get into the nitty gritty, basically the cosmetics, what did I get as far as makeup, so we're going to go through that first because I know you guys are probably like super interested and these videos are very recent, um, when they go up I post, I post them up as soon as possible because I know you guys want to check the stores out and I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. So. Let me tell you, I was not expecting to go to this 99 cent store. When I went in, there was these bins like right in front of the walkway. As soon as you walk in the door, there was these huge bins and it just advertised 99 cents name brand makeup. So for one, I have been wanting this colored nail polish for a minute, but I'm really not about to pay like $5 for it at Walgreens. I liked the color a lot and it was the Milani. It's the Milani brand. So they had like loads of Milani nail polish. 99 cents and I got the color that I wanted and I actually seen this color last month. So I waited a month and I got it for 99 cents. I also picked up this really pretty color peach one. A really soft kind of like very soft pinkish color. Just a regular white one. So for a buck. Hey, 99 cent stores and only. So I was really excited about that. So this is the makeup that I was able to purchase from the 99 cent store. Now you do see Maybelline, L'Oreal, and all kind of goodies in this basket here. And I'm so excited to show you guys. Maybelline eyeshadow tattoo. I love these eyeshadows because they're so creamy and they're really great for using them as paint pots. You know, like a MAC, a MAC paint pot? Yes, really great. So I did get this one here, which is the Maybelline New York Color Tattoo 24 Hour. Okay? Hope you guys can see that. And the color that I got was like this whitish color. It's more or less like a pearlized color. This one here is in the color Nude Complement. And it's more or less like a topish color, if you can see that. I really don't want to open them because once you open these things, they dry out. This one is a limited edition. It's called Matte Brown. 
Just Beige, which is another limited edition. So I have racked up with three limited edition um, eye color tattoos. And the last one with the Maybelline color tattoos is Caramel Cool, which is like this really pretty bronzy color. So I'm thinking like, oh, your girl like lucked out. Like really, I really, really did luck out. Now also, I'm going to keep going with the um, other things. These, I love these. If you guys have ever seen these, these are norm these normally come out during the Halloween time. And this is by Wet n Wild, and these are just painter's palettes. And I don't find them as much as I used to. I love these um, because for one, these are like a creamy consistency. And I will use them as like an eyeshadow base. Love these. I have about five of these. I've had them for years. They don't go bad. They don't get hard. They stay creamy. So back into the real deal. I did get a Maybelline uh, Master Cream Cold Eyeliner. And this is in a color purple. More or less like a plumish color. Okay. Another Maybelline pencil. Creamy Glide. And this is a Vibrant Violet. So they have more or less like purple colors. Okay. Hey. It was 99 cents. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Some L'Oreal Paris Soft Effects Dual Eye Color. Okay? Yeah, it comes with two eyeshadows and one of the little sponges. Really cute, compact. It does have a lid on it, of course. And, hey, listen. I also did get another one. And this is more or less like olive colors. Olives. Seeing these at the very first 99 cents store. And I was like, What? Maybelline is at the 99 cent store. Shut the front door. Okay, like shut the front door. These are absolutely gorgeous for a dollar. Now, had I had to pay more than that, I would have had to pay. So I really do like these because for one, I did not know that they were cream eyeshadow. I'm not like a really cream eyeshadow girl, but your girl will use it as eyeshadow bases or whatever. I mean, I still do like cream, but not as much. But for the price, what? You can get yourself a nice look for a dollar. Have my whole face beat for like five bucks, okay? Be like, what, girl? Yas, hunty, yas. On fleek, on fleek, okay? I got three of those because three serves the purpose. This one here, which is more or less grays, copper, and like a uh, natural neutral color. Yeah. I think this one is like my favorite one, like to say, because of the colors. Like you guys know, I love like really like warm tone colors. I am like a warm type of girl, okay? Warm. Since I don't really care for like the cream eyeshadows, I was happy when I seen this. Maybelline, what? Bam. This stuff is still in the stores, okay? This is, like, still in the stores. And it has... I'm not going to say, like, I'm a humongous fan of Maybelline. I'm not. Like, I'm not going to spend, like, five, six, seven bucks on this. But if I can get it for 99 cents, you best believe I'm about to go in there and rack up, okay? Open me up an eBay store and be like, makeup for sale. What? I'm just joking. It's just like a really great come up for anybody who loves makeup, who wants to build their makeup stash, then by all means, I always say look all over because you never know where hidden treasures are found. You know what I'm saying? And if I can get makeup, which I absolutely love for a fraction of the price, you best believe I'm about to go in there and rack the hell up. Now, am I going to use all this? Probably not. I do have daughters that I would probably give this to. These here by Maybelline. Yes, hunties. Maybelline, okay? Maybelline. And these are some really pretty pigmented eyeshadows, okay? Another one, color matte, or what is it called? Color Molten by Maybelline. Love these colors. Very neutral and pretty. I think this one is like a really pretty color right here. And, mm, I don't know. I might be dipping into that. Uh, these here are the L'Oreal Brights. This is a limited edition shimmering sapphire. Came like this. It's more or less like little eyeshadows, I think. Like, more or less like eyeshadow pigments. Loose eyeshadow pigments, I would think this is what that is. Um, a white eyeliner pencil by Wet n Wild. And also these faux 
Jumbo Milk, Jumbo NYX pencils. So these are by Wet n Wild and these are their fantasy makers. Of course, these are enchanting body crowns. They look just like the eyeshadow pencils or the Jumbo eyeshadow pencils by NYX. And when I seen these, I was like, okay, yes, yes, yes. And also a black one. So y'all already know how I feel about my head wraps. Like I love a good head wrap. Y'all ask me all the time, where do I get my head wraps from? I get them from various places. The majority of the places that I get them from is the thrift store. But did a girl just run across at the 99 cents and only store and found some infinity scarves? Like, hold up. Now, they only had three colors, and unfortunately, these were not 99 cents. It says 99 cents only stores for a dollar ninety-nine. However, for two bucks. Oh my god. And of course these are Infinity Scar. They make awesome head wraps, okay you guys? They make wonderful head wraps and I've used them for a couple of years as a head wrap. And I love when the material is like this jersey kind of like knit stretch material. That makes like the best head wrap, especially for an Infinity Scar. If you don't want to keep it as an Infinity Scar, you can always cut it to where it has an opening and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that with this one but I got this pretty bright pink one. So got like this taupish color one which is absolutely cute. I love this natural color like I love natural colors and I also got kind of like this sporty gray. I call this more or less like the t-shirt kind of gray ones. So these were $1.99 so I'm in like heaven. Hello? Heaven! A oh, girl is cheap. Cheap cheap. So if you guys watch my Dollar Tree haul, you've seen that my daughter Mumsy is like very supportive of breast cancer awareness. She tried to get me to buy everything breast cancer awareness at the Dollar Tree. I seen these and absolutely thought these were amazing. Like, come on, cheetah print with the breast cancer ribbon for a dollar. Oh, hold up, for 99 cents, what? These knee highs, which are also breast cancer awareness. Okay, let's talk about it for 99 cents. Let's just talk about this. A white pair, okay? Um, and who doesn't love like a great pair of tube socks? So, yes, we are girls, but tube socks are so cute. Especially if you're wearing them around the house, you gotta like some really short shorts, and you just got somewhere to run real quick, then they're really cute. So these were not a dollar though. These were a dollar ninety nine. But the quality is really great. You know, say so some socks that you buy from like the dollar stores may be really, really cheaply made, but those were actually really good quality socks. Okay, so I'm a fabuloso head. Um, when I say fabuloso, not mean that I'm fabulous because I am. However, Fabuloso, the cleaning liquid. I love it to death, okay? So what I do, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, okay? So don't judge. Please don't judge. Just join the family. Join the gang. Join the Fabuloso gang, okay? I pour some Fabuloso along with a little pot of water. I mix them together, a pot of water and some Fabuloso, a little bit of water, a little bit of Fabuloso, and I put it on my stove on the lowest temperature, the lowest heat setting, which is simmer. Let me tell you, your house will be smelling so good. It'll be good for those people that don't even clean their house and it'll make their house smell like they clean their house, okay? But they had this other brand, and I purchased this before from Walmart. Let me tell you, I'm not really sure how you say this. Pinaline? Pinaline. It's like a Spanish version, okay? Because this is Spanish. Aromas, aromas. I think this is in Spanish. Oh, some of it is in Spanish. Aroma is an English word. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so this one is a little bit thicker. The the consistency is thicker. But if you mix, pour a little bit of this in with some water and put it on your pot on your stove, your house will smell so good. Now don't leave it on the stove to where your dang old house is burning down. But try it out. I'm telling you, this is like the best potpourri ever. Okay, so I did get some glue sticks. Um, because I'm going to do a little project on here for you guys to see. And some of these, which are the Icy Hots, um, Hot Compress and Band-Aids. My knee um, acts up a lot, my right knee, and it, it'll hurt for like weeks at a time. So I, I bought a couple of those because if you buy them from like a sports store, they're like 2 $3. Some baby wipes because the girl do need to remove her makeup when it's not on fleek, okay? I got this from Mumsy because she's always looking for a stand for her iPad. Well, I'm not really sure why my kids brought this stuff upstairs for me, but I did get some napkins. You get like 165 napkins for a dollar or for 99 cents. I mean, really, you cannot beat that. 
for a dollar sixty five. I would buy like a truckload of those for real. Okay, since they're here, let me just show you. These are the Cinnabon Gooey Bites. Soft baked cinnamon rolls. I know you guys know what cinnamon buns are, cinnabons are. First of all, let me tell you about cinnabons because I love me some cinnabons. Oh, for real. That's why I am trying to lose weight now because of things like that, okay? And yes, I do have about six of these in my bag right here because they were 99 cents. But let's not forget that I do have kids and they like cinnabons too, okay? However, let me tell y'all about the Cinnabons place. Now, first of all, they are not cheap. You get like a 12 pack for like 18 bucks, 18, 16 dollars. Oh, excuse me, not a 12 pack, a nine pack for like 16 dollars. I'm sorry, y'all Cinnabons is real good, but God damn, you trying to feed me or rob me? One day I went to the mall and the lady was like, oh, those aren't special because I put too much um, glaze on them. So those are $10. So I was so happy. This was a couple of weeks ago. I was so happy because I got this whole huge box of Cinnabons. I think it was either a 9-pack or a 12-pack. I don't even know, but it was $10. And she talking about those are messed up ones because they had too much icing on them. Uh, girl, please. Shh. I need more icing, and if you want to sell them to me for cheaper, then I will take them, okay? Thank you. Hello. Hello, okay? You just heat these up and you eat them, so they're covered with that cinnamon glaze and cream cheese frosting that they are so known for, okay? Then I got three of these deodorants, which are suave. These are always really cheap. You can get these for like 97 cents at Walmart, so they work well. Unless you're somebody that's super funky or whatever, then they may not work for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial or tutorial. What the hell? I wasn't teaching y'all anything but to be cheap. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul for the 99 cents only stores. Try to see if you have one in your neighborhood. They have some really great stuff. Stuff. I love this store. It's a lot bigger than actual Dollar Tree, so you do find a lot more at the 99 cent store. So on that note, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on a new and upcoming video.